The pregnancy was wonderful. We had, there was no concerns, not no consideration to having a preemie, not, not at all. For some babies, life just starts too early. My daughter's best friend, who was my neighbor, was in an isolate. She was born at 25 weeks, and she was in an isolate for 76 days. I was more than a week premature, and I was barely five pounds when I came out. My oldest sister was born premature. She was two months early. I was pregnant with twins. They were five weeks early. I was very worried. One of my sons was having trouble breathing on his own. He ended up in one of the incubators. To us, he just looked so tiny. It's unbelievable how small they are. You think it's just, the baby is small, but like what you see in the NICU is amazing. I felt a little bit uncomfortable because I knew that they didn't, they wouldn't be equipped for 26 weekers. But they were amazing, amazing. Everyone there was amazing. Within three hours, they were prepped to go. We ended up at um, Sunnybrook in Toronto. Essentially, we stayed for 121 days. We were hardly above water. Both of us were. It was, it was a really, really tough year. There's a lot of people involved with Kieran and Shay. We had the best training ever. It was like <laughs> training 101 for parenting. Like yeah. They had them on a sleeping routine, a feeding routine, a bathing routine. When Kieran had his major brain bleed, we knew at that time that he had a 50 to 75% chance of having cerebral palsy. Um, but as time went on, especially with Kieran, we embraced the fact that he chose to live. And despite the fact that he was going to have difficulties, right from the get-go, he just brought us joy every single day. Well, the problem with, uh, with prematurity is that it's still on an increase in the rise within states and globally. Neonatal care, uh, working with premature babies, putting those babies and the equipment to help support and sustain life is, is rewarding, whether it's our equipment or the competitor's equipment. Uh, my niece was two months premature. I actually uh, work here on the production floor assembling uh, the C2000 and the I8000 incubator. I, you know, I take pride in building it. I always tell her, see that? I saw you in an incubator and 30 years later I'm building them. I feel like I got to live a little bit of it on my own and to actually see, wow, what we're doing and what difference we're making. I, I worked on a machine that saved my daughter's friend's life. To know that you had some input on something that saved a kid's life, that's kind of special. People have been here for a long, long time and they stay. And I guess there's a reason for that. We are about making and designing technology for life. We always like focus on the baby. We're trying to make it comfortable for the baby, but also for the parents. We, like any other parent, want exactly the same things. We want them to be happy. We want them to be confident in who they are. We want them to love themselves. Um, we don't want the disability to define them. We can make things easier and better for the users, for the parents, and hopefully continue to make better products for the patients, continue to save lives. That's the basic dream, basic vision. It's very simple. Didn't say it was easy, but it's simple.